In a landmark development for India's maritime surveillance and naval modernization efforts, the Defense Research and Development Organization, DRDO, has expressed complete confidence in the nation's ability to build an indigenous long-range maritime patrol aircraft for the Indian Navy. This project, which could use an off-the-shelf commercial aircraft as its base, represents a major transition from foreign dependence to self-reliance in complex aviation systems. A senior DRDO official confirmed to IDRW.org that India has already begun work on a medium-range maritime reconnaissance aircraft, known as the MRMR, based on the Airbus C-295M platform. This aircraft is increasingly viewed as a mini-MPA, but more importantly, it is poised to become the technological springboard for an entirely Indian long-range MPA that could eventually replace the elite P-8I Poseidon fleet. The MRMR program is one of DRDO's most ambitious aviation efforts in recent years. At the heart of the project lies the Center for Airborne Systems, CABS, a DRDO laboratory renowned for its expertise in airborne radar, electronics, sensors and mission systems. CABS is responsible for integrating India's indigenous family of active electronically scanned array radars, built on GAN technology, along with friend or foe identification systems, encrypted data links, and multimode electro-optical surveillance turrets. These systems are designed not only to enable the C-295 to perform maritime reconnaissance but also to turn the aircraft into a force multiplier that can track ships, detect submarines, gather electronic intelligence, and monitor communications activity across vast stretches of the ocean. According to officials, MRMR is not just a medium-range surveillance platform, it is a stepping stone toward a self-reliant ecosystem of long-range naval patrol aircraft built entirely in India. This indigenous push comes at a time when security dynamics in the Indian Ocean region are undergoing rapid transformation. China's expanding naval presence, including frequent submarine deployments, underwater mapping missions, and its long-term base access agreements in the region, have compelled India to strengthen its own maritime situational awareness. The Indian Navy's responsibility spans more than 7.5 million square kilometers of ocean, and to manage such a massive domain, India needs layered surveillance systems, ranging from UAVs and maritime helicopters to coastal radars and long-range MPAs. The P-8I fleet has served as India's frontline anti-submarine platform since 2013, but the rising tempo of operations and limited numbers have exposed capability gaps. Adding new P-8 is has become increasingly difficult because of high costs, complex technology transfer conditions, and procurement delays. It is in this context that India's MRMR program gained unprecedented momentum in July 2025 with the Ministry of Defense issuing a major request for proposal. The deal involves commissioning nine new C-295-based MRMR aircraft for the Indian Navy and six multi-mission maritime aircraft for the Coast Guard. Estimated at 3.5 billion euros, this massive program builds upon the existing C-295 manufacturing line in Vidodara, where Tata Advanced Systems Limited and Airbus are already producing transport variants for the Indian Air Force. With the production ecosystem already in place, the MRMR variant can be developed more efficiently and tailored specifically for maritime roles. Capable of staying airborne for 8 to 10 hours and covering ranges of up to 2,500 kilometers, the MRMR will fill the operational gap between the short-range Dornier Du-228s and the long-range Poseidons. DRDO's suite of onboard sensors will allow the aircraft to monitor both surface and subsurface targets, making it ideal for missions such as anti-piracy patrols, search and rescue operations, exclusive economic zone surveillance, drug trafficking interdiction, and coastal monitoring during emergencies. Real-time data sharing capabilities through networks like Akashdir C-4 ISR will give naval commanders unprecedented situational awareness, enabling faster decisions and seamless coordination during multi-ship or multi-aircraft missions. While DRDO and India's aerospace industry are moving aggressively toward completing MRMR development, the Navy itself has not yet finalized a long-range indigenous maritime patrol requirement. This hesitation is partly due to ongoing negotiations with the United States for six more P-8I aircraft, which were cleared for procurement in early 2025 but stalled due to price disagreements and concerns over limited technology transfer. Budgetary constraints have further complicated the decision-making process. According to defense sources, DRDO already has the foundational technologies to build a long-range MPA, but full-scale development cannot begin until the Navy formally defines its operational needs and commits to the project. 
The future long-range MPA concept being studied by DRDO could be based on a modified Boeing 737-800ERX platform, offering an endurance of more than 12 hours and ranges beyond 7,000 kilometers. Such an aircraft would allow India to patrol deep ocean regions that lie far beyond the reach of current platforms. The long-range variant would integrate the most advanced versions of DRDO-developed systems, including gun-based maritime radars capable of tracking submarines and stealth vessels from hundreds of kilometers away, day and night ISR turrets optimized for ASW missions, high-sensitivity communications and electronic intelligence receivers, and an improved magnetic anomaly detector derived from modern solutions like the CAE MAD-XR. DRDO's weapons ecosystem would also be fully integrated, featuring the NASMSR anti-ship missile, lightweight torpedoes, and next-generation sonobuoys engineered for tropical waters. One of the most crucial advantages of developing an indigenous long-range MPA is the potential for achieving more than 70% local content. This would drastically reduce reliance on foreign supply chains, an issue that became particularly evident during the maintenance cycles of the P-8I fleet, where delayed spare parts and long repair timelines impacted operational readiness. Domestic production would not only lower operating costs but also give India the freedom to customize and upgrade the aircraft based on evolving regional threats. Moreover, an indigenous MPA could become a major export product, with countries in Southeast Asia, Africa, and Latin America seeking cost-effective alternatives to expensive Western patrol aircraft. This aligns seamlessly with India's defense export target of 50,000 crore rupees by 2029. Yet, despite all this technological momentum, several challenges remain. Bureaucratic procedures, budget allocation debates, and the Navy's preference for proven foreign platforms could slow down the program. Defense procurement in India has historically struggled with long timelines, and experts warn that delays today could create capability gaps tomorrow. DRDO remains ready to move forward, but as one official put it, technology alone cannot drive the program. The operational requirement must pull it. The Navy's endorsement remains the key that will determine how quickly India can transition from the MRMR to a full-scale indigenous long-range MPA. As the Indian Ocean becomes more contested, with Chinese carrier strike groups operating closer to India's maritime boundaries and foreign submarines routinely patrolling regional sea lanes, India's need for robust maritime domain awareness has never been more urgent. The combination of an indigenous MRMR fleet followed by a next-generation long-range MPA would fundamentally alter India's maritime surveillance architecture. It would enable India not only to monitor its own waters with unmatched accuracy but also to support friendly nations, deter adversaries, and shape the strategic balance in the Indo-Pacific. In many ways, this effort symbolizes the evolution of the Make in India initiative. It is no longer just about manufacturing defense platforms inside the country. It is about developing world-class systems that allow India to watch, analyze, respond, and dominate its maritime environment from the skies above the ocean. In an era where intelligence, surveillance, and electronic warfare will define the next generation of naval power, India's strides in indigenous maritime aviation are reshaping the future of maritime security, not just for the nation, but for the entire region.